In this video, we're gonna have a quick look at the latest firmware update for the Atomos Shogun 7 and see if it finally fulfills the promise of giving us up to four isolated HD SDI input recordings, switching, program recording, and program output. Now, I purchased my Shogun 7 in August 2019 with the goal of using it to record isolated feeds from multiple sources at a conference we were doing. And I have to say I was pretty unhappy to discover that these promised and much talked about features weren't gonna be available until a future firmware update. Well, fast forward to December 2019 and Atomos has finally released version 10.4 of the OS that includes these features. So the big question for me is, how does it work? Does it deliver on those features? Well, let's dive in and see. In this situation, I've got two Sony FS5s, a Fuji X-T3 and an iPad, all connected to the Shogun 7, all outputting 1080p at 24 frames a second. Now the Fuji is using a Blackmagic HDMI to SDI converter, and the iPad is using a decimator to scale its output to match those three cameras. So let's see what's new on the Shogun 7. First, there's a new input mode that becomes available in the input menu for switching four HD SDI inputs. Selecting this reboots the Shogun 7 into this mode. And from here, you can select your inputs and set the input type. You'll also notice a new switched option across the top of the screen. Choosing this screen lets you select which of your four inputs you want to record and toggle recording the switched program on or off, as well as where you want to record your audio from. Now, closing out this screen, you have the option to view each of your four sources independently, as well as use the normal exposure and focusing tools, which is super handy. You also have the four up display that provides a simple touch to switch interface. And as you can see, it's very easy to use. Just touch to cut between the sources. And if you've enabled program recording, the selected source is recorded into that program recording. There's also an XML file that's created that records all your cuts and transitions into an XML file that you can import into Final Cut 10. Lastly, I've also connected the SDI out of the Shogun 7 as an input to my computer running OBS. And as you can see, the switched program feed is also being output over the SDI and HDMI ports of the Shogun 7. This could be awesome for recording live streaming and multicam events when you don't want to carry around a ton of switching gear. So does this firmware update let the Shogun finally live up to what we expected? Well, I've not done an extensive amount of testing, but I think it does. Animo seems to have done a great job at implementing these features. And I'm gonna to continue to test and I'll do a much more in-depth review and video of this. So if you have questions or things you'd like me to test, please leave them in the comments below and I'll add them to my next video. So be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified when I post that video. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.